Hey everybody, Mike Dupke here from the D. Snyder Band, here to talk about one of my favorite drum rudiments that I use behind the kit a lot, and that is the Flam Triplet. Uh, although this is not one of the technical 40 official rudiments that we all know, uh, it does sound exactly like the Flam Accent or the Swiss Army Triplet, in that it's a Flam followed by two unaccented notes. Uh, but the sticking is actually closer to the inverted Flam Tap, in that uh, every stroke is technically alternated. The flam is right left, followed by a right and left with the hands. Obviously this is a pattern that can be applied to 16th notes or triplets. Uh, but now we're going to add the right foot, except instead of just downbeats, we're going to add two notes to correspond with the single strokes on their own. So effectively we are kind of expanding the flam into three limbs. Uh, you have three pairs of notes that are going to be hitting at the same time. The first is both hands, the second is the kick with the right hand, and the third is the kick with the left hand. I tend to use this pattern in the hands a lot during my fills, so adding the kick drum in this way can give it a real different kind of flavor rather than just, you know, something like standard quarter notes or eighth notes. One of the cool things about doing the kick like this is that it allows you to expand the pattern into the cymbals rather than just the drums themselves. Now, besides fills, there are some cool groove-oriented applications that this pattern can be put to as well. Uh, one thing to keep in mind as you're moving your hands to different voices around the kit, remember it doesn't always have to be an actual flam. There are going to be some times when you want any pair of limbs to hit simultaneously as opposed to separately for an actual flam. Uh, case in point, uh, a groove I came up with, uh, I'm just calling the Twisted Texas Shuffle. Uh, in blues drumming, one thing that's done is a Texas shuffle. This is typically a shuffle pattern played simultaneously with both hands playing the same thing and usually with uh, quarter notes on the kicks underneath. When you play this pattern as a shuffle groove, the result is really fun. Maybe not something you're going to want to use all the time, but can be a kind of an interesting thing to throw in. And if you're working with just straight ahead 16th notes, you can have fun throwing in as many parts of this pattern as you like. Now one of my favorite ways to apply this groove is in a halftime shuffle. Uh, you end up with uh, kind of this crazy mix of ingredients 
where on the right hand you've got a pattern that's not exactly but kind of like uh, Alex Van Halen's pattern on Van Halen's Hot for Teacher. You've got a regular Texas style kind of shuffle but played halftime with your left hand on the snare and then the right foot becomes the John Bonham uh, style uh, sextuplets like you hear on Good Times, Bad Times. So if you're having fun with this pattern, here are a couple of ways you can take it even further. Uh, in a groove format, say like when your right hand is on the hi-hat and your left hand is on the snare, simply by switching your hands around, you can give this groove a completely different flavor. Uh, the one thing you'll have to pay attention to is what hand and what accent and where the downbeat is going to go. For instance, when you played the Texas Shuffle, uh, it was the second note with the left hand, da-da, da-da, da-da that had the accent, but if you play the same pattern with your right hand on the snare, the first note, da-da, 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 you get the first and then the middle note of the triplet played with the right hand. Another way to woodshed this is to see that you're dealing with three pairs of flam accents. Now I've been playing it usually with the right hand and left hand, the flam, on the downbeat, starting the pattern with that, followed by each hand with the bass drum. But since you're dealing in threes here, you can put any pair of those first. For instance, you could make the flam the middle of the triplet, or you could put it at the end, and you can drive yourself wonderfully crazy in the practice room. Uh, by trying variations of the same pattern by putting your flam with the hands on the first beat, uh, the middle note of the triplet, and the last one. And you'll see all sorts of different rhythmic combinations and color combinations on the kit coming up for you. Hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you something fun to work on. And uh, you can take what I call the Twisted Texas Shuffle and put it all the way around the kit. Um, am I the first guy to ever play this riff? Y no, of course not. I'm sure it's been played billions of times before, but I've never seen it named. So if you've got a cool name for this, like Twisted Texas Shuffle or Menage a Flam or Flam a Toi, or something like that, leave it in the comments section and I'd love to hear uh, what ideas and combinations you guys find to be your favorite. That's all, happy drumming, take care. See you on the road.